the Holy Ghost and you basically say God isn't real when you know He is, that is what the unpardonable sin is. A sin you can't come back from. So, if you haven't received the Holy Spirit in your life where He lives inside you, He can be around you. You can sing those songs, oh, oh He touched me, oh, He touched me because the Holy Spirit like embraces you, gives you a hug when you need one or whatever. That's, that's, that's one level of experience. And that's great to have the Holy Spirit around you. But when He lives in you, it's like a whole other level that you, it's nothing like it in the world. If you don't have the Holy Spirit in you and He is just around you, it's not possible to commit an unpardonable, that unpardonable sin. And if He's living in you, who would be crazy enough to deny God when you are when you're walking in, with that level of closeness? You can go through hard times and everything, but blaspheming the Holy Ghost when you when He has that kind of relationship with you, it's unthinkable. And so it's highly unlikely that unpardonable sin is something that ever come up in your life. And let us also not forget that King David was a murderer and he was saved, confident in forgiveness in the life, in this life, and neither him or Paul were executed for the crimes. So even while uh, Jesus was hanging on the cross, there were the thieves on each side of Jesus, which he said to one of them, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Because he had asked Jesus to remember him. We all make mistakes. We all do things that we're not proud of. But none of us are perfect. So let's leave here today and show everyone who makes mistakes the Christ in us. Because they too can be saved no matter what they have done. Let us be watching. Good morning. This is Assistant Pastor Randy Henderson doing a belated STFK blog. Um, a few weeks ago, Pastor David Spakes preached on the unforgivable sin that if you are saved and baptized by the Holy Spirit, and if you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, you won't ever be forgiven. That's the one unforgivable sin. And then last week on the 14th, I had preached on um, using Ezekiel 33 to explain that people like Jeffrey Dahmer uh, and other serial killers who have been saved, that they'll be in heaven too because God doesn't remember what they do and yeah, they'll be with us. Um, this could be a pretty short vlog today. Uh, tomorrow, on the 20th, we're going to have our Thanksgiving dinner at the church. So, y'all are more than welcome to join, or you can go on Zoom during the service and have a good time. Um, Till next week, God bless.